Hi, I'm Adam and welcome to Nonfat Networking. On our plate this week is Full Contact Networking. Our parents tell us to look people in the eye. College and career counselors tell us to make eye contact in interviews. Shakespeare told us the eyes are the windows to the soul, which is basically his snooty way of telling us to look people in the eye. Surely at least some of these people have a point, right? Eye contact, at least in American culture, does wonders in letting people know you are actively listening. This type of engagement can help foster a relationship with a person which is vital because it's the person that leads to referrals and strong networking connections. Conversely, those looking around the room or paying attention to their phone in the middle of a conversation sends a clear signal and once the conversation ends, the eye breaker has created something worse than a waste of time, a person who may feel insulted or think negatively of them. Not to say that breaking eye contact isn't allowed, as we of course don't want to come across like we're trying to win a staring contest, but giving the impression that you are looking for something or someone better truly is the kiss of death in what otherwise could have been a surprisingly beneficial connection. So here's how to demonstrate you are fully engaged in the conversation. Check your body language. Face the person with your entire body, head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Don't cross your arms. This attention to body language helps to maintain good eye contact naturally. But Adam, looking people in the eyes makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Well, it will get easier with practice, but if you feel awkward, try glancing from one eye to the other. Remember to nod attentively and respond appropriately. In the end, give each conversation, however long or brief, your full attention, and you'll be much more likely to foster strong, lasting networking relationships. I'm Adam with Nonfat Networking. Happy connecting.